So here's my audience. What is barrel racing? How do you start? What is barrel racing really about? You've heard people talk about it at shows. The sport was started when women wanted an event to compete in with each other. That would be a challenge, but still fail. They came up with the idea of taking Texas oil drums, 55 gallon barrels, these are my visuals, and setting them up in a cloverleaf pattern. And this would be the clover leaf pattern. Um, with one right turn and two left turns. Then they would take their husband's roping horses and see who could get through the course at the fastest time. Today, barrel racing is more complex. It is an event that you and your horse have to be physically and mentally steady to compete in. It demands stamina, concentration, and synchronization from rider and horse. Just running fast will not win a barrel race, but it could get you or your horse injured. When you decide you want to try barrel racing, there are a few things you and your mount must know. Training for barrels takes time and effort on both your parts. You need to set a good foundation before you can actually take your horse to a show and start bringing in the ribbons. Your horse should know his leads be supple, know low very well, back up, and have acceptable transitions, meaning he should be able to go from a walk to a trot to a lope and down to a walk and stop. He needs his leads for making sure he can trim the barrels and keep his balance. Being supple is a must. Barrel horses are some of the most athletic horses there are. They go from running full force to stopping and turning a barrel tight to running full force again. Your woe is very important. You cannot, or because your horse has, has to have decent rate. Um, if you don't slow down for the barrel, you can knock it over, go wide, and lose seconds off of your time. Backing up teaches your horse to disengage his front end and put his weight on his hind quarters. This allows him to get down and get around the barrel. After you have a well-established foundation on your horse, you are ready to begin the barrels. Beginning a horse on the barrel pattern is something you need to take your time with. Make sure you do it right the first time so you don't have holes from your training later on. Depending on the age of your horse and what he has done before will vary, but usually it is a good idea to start with a snaffle bit. And I have a picture of the snaffle bit. But most of the times, whatever you're currently using on your horse will work. But be careful. There are a lot of bits that are not good for training or barrel racing. First things first. Do you have an arena that you're able to set up barrels? Don't worry if the pattern is regulation size for now. If it is available, try not to have the barrels on a grassy area. It can make it very slippery for the horse and dangerous for the rider. Most people aren't able too, but if you can, find large tractor tires to put around your barrels. They're very helpful. So the first steps, start by walking. Walk to the barrel, stop at your rate point. For a beginning horse, this is about 10 feet from the barrel. By sitting down in the saddle, and if you have to, stopping with your reins. Um, make sure you always stop at the same point. Repetition, repetition is what horses learn from. Then, back your horse up at least three steps or until he gets his hind end under him. Then sit slightly forward to ask your horse to go and walk around the barrel. Keep your horse a little wide and then bring him in as you leave the barrel. Stay straight in your saddle and don't look at the barrel. Do this at each barrel. When doing any type of practice, after you leave the third barrel, go left all the way to the fence and back down to start. This should only be practiced three to four times a week when you first start. 
You don't want to sour your horse before you have even begun. The second steps. After your horse has mastered walking the pattern and will basically stop on his own at the rate point, you can move on to trotting the barrels. Do the same thing, stopping and backing up at your rate point. The same rate point you established in your walking exercise. Your horse should remember this. So now you're trotting the barrels and walking around them. Make sure when you get to the point you start to move away from the barrel. Push your horse right into a trot so he knows that's when he is supposed to move out. Do this at each barrel, making sure to go back to the fence after the third barrel. The third step. When your horse does well at trotting the pattern, you can move on. Don't rush your horse into doing this perfectly. It may take quite a bit of time and you don't want him to get bored. Make sure you do other things like trail riding, other events like poles, cones, and so forth. Go out on a trail ride or at least out of the air arena several times a week, even after you work on the barrels. So now you can start loping the barrels. At this stage, it is going to be the time you'll need to concentrate on lead changes between the first and second barrel. Most people can feel if the horse is changing leads okay, but if you have problems, have someone watch, or better yet, videotape you. If your horse naturally slows down at his rate point, you have made great success. You should now be loping between the barrels and trotting around them. Make sure you push your horse right into lope after you leave the barrel, though. Repetition is your main training resource. By now, your horse should know the pattern pretty well. I would not put any serious speed for at least one year of showing. Rather, it be just exhibitions or small shows. Just to get your horse exposed to running in different areas and you're used to his reaction. When you're practicing at home, don't put a lot of speed on your horse and don't do it often. Once your horse is well seasoned, it usually isn't necessary for your horse to see the barrels between shows. One thing I always stress to everyone is make sure you keep your horse's mind sane. Go on trail rides, go to a team penning, do anything besides barrels. It will keep your horse and you happy. If you find any problems with your horse's pattern, go back to slow work and fix it before it gets out of control. Most times, if your horse is having problems, it is pilot error, but these things can be fixed. Most of all, barrel racing is fun. You are being judged by the clock and the clock only. Go out there, have a blast, and be safe. And here's my audience again. There. There. Back there. Thank you.